Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Just ahead of next week's Paris Motor Show, Renault has rejoined the space race. It will unveil a new generation of its people carrier the space, French for space, at the event. It's astonishing to think that the space has been with us for 30 years. In its new guise, Renault is promising a brightly lit, comfortable interior, an occupant friendly cabin and a centre console that appears to be floating. Both the 5 and 7 Seat versions are designed in, modules for greater flexibility. Renault says, this large, elegant and innovative crossover combines a strong design and seductive appeal. Meticulous attention has been paid to detail. The car is largely based on the concept car rebuilt a year ago at the Frankfurt Motor Show. The world premiere takes place at a press conference led by Renault Group Chairman and Chief Executive Carlos GHSN next Thursday. ARCH rival Peugeot, meanwhile, will show off its new sporty, high-performance quartz prototype, which the French maker describes as a vintage body of an SUV with the cabin of a saloon. Nearly a quarter of adult consumers, 23%, are considering buying a car in the next six months, according to the latest figures from the Sainsbury's Bank Car Buying Index. This includes nearly 13% who intend to buy a new car and almost 11% who plan to go for a second-hand model. The average amount people expect to spend is 11,249 libras. On new vehicles, this rises to 15,921 libras, while for second hand makes the average is 6,636 libras. 4 out of 10 of those who say they are considering buying will choose a loan or other finance to pay for at least part of the vehicle. Around 1 in 5 will consider an unsecured personal loan, and 18% intend to use a higher purchase agreements. Around 1 in 5 will opt for a personal contract purchase plan or put it on a credit card. Jaguar Land Rover is the main automotive sponsor of this year's London Press Club Ball at the Royal Courts of Justice in the Strand on October 9, a highlight of which is a fundraising auction. Under the hammer is the chance to beat the Kewes and drive to new models, the Jaguar X Sports Saloon and Land Rover Discovery Sport, long before they hit showrooms. To add spice, the drives will be in Spain and Iceland respectively. It's the third time Jaguar Land Rover has supported the event. Aptlin Ahmed broadcaster Nick Ferrari will conduct the auction. This year's ball, at which the Countess of Wessex, is guest of honor, combines two landmarks in style, the 10th anniversary of the event and the 150th anniversary of the journalist's charity, for which it raises funds. Viscount Rothermer, chairman of the MGT, publisher of the Daily Mail, is president of the charity. The Queen is its patron. The Earl of March and the Goodwood State are also supporting the ball with the chance to bid for a year's worth of hospitality to events such as the Festival of Speed and Racing at Goodwood. There is also an opportunity to be a passenger in the new twin turbocharged Ferrari California to up the legendary hill climb at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, courtesy of uca based Ferrari North Europe. And for cycling fans, the lot to watch comes from Skoda, which has just completed a year's sponsorship of the ball. Its donation to the auction is a shotgun ride in one of its support vehicles at next year's Tour de France. Audi has published details of its new topless temptress ahead of the Paris show. The TT Roadster and TTS Roadster will be revealed to the world at the event, which runs from October 4 to 14. Order books open in mid-November for the TT Roadster, which will be priced between 31.955 libras and 37.555 libras on the road, ahead of first deliveries in March. The 310 BHP TTS Roadster will be available to order next year for summer deliveries. Launch in Ines will be a 2.0 TFSI 230 BHP unit with front wheel drive or 4 all wheel drive, and a front wheel drive 2.0 diesel injection rated at 184 BHP. The Tether Roadster 2.0 TD Ultra will manage more than 65 MPG with CO2 output of just 114 GRA MPORK y LOMETR, yet will still do 0 to 62 millas por hora in 7.3 seconds and reach a top speed of 147 millas por hora. Fancy owning the most powerful open top Ferrari ever? Sales of the 230.000 libras 458 Special A, are limited to 499, dedicated Ferrari collectors. So if you're not on that exclusive list, don't even think about applying. The new Ferrari makes its world debut in Paris. 
it sprints from 0 to 62 millas per hora in 3 seconds, while its aluminium hardtop takes just 14 seconds to deploy or retract. Ferrari 6. T458 Special is the most powerful spider in prancing horse history.